Hello and welcome to Eagle Hunt Demos. In my previous demo, I showed you how to use routers to customize the URL. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use views and templates which are used to render the UI. Templates can utilize the views and they are majorly used to define the layout. So let's go ahead and create our first view and let's see how is it different from templates. I'm using the Sublime Text 2 editor and I've already installed Eagle Horn and I'm using the default controller which is welcome.php. So let's go ahead and create a, create a method which is home and let's create one more method which is going to be about and then let's go ahead and create a view by the name home.php we are going to create another view whose name is going to be about.php right so let's create some content here i'm going to write home and this is my home page and let's create a content here i'm going to write about and this is my about page so let's go ahead and display them so the first thing is you need to get the contents of home.php to do that let's create a variable home this is going to keep all the contents and let's load the view which is home.php don't forget to add the extension because you can also have HTML views and then you can just render this view let's do the same thing for our about page Let's create a variable which is going to hold the data of the about.php view and let's load the view here and let's try to render the view. Now let's go to the URL uh, which we are going to access the welcome controller and the home method. So welcome URL and the home method and we see this is my home page. Let's go ahead and write about and you can see this is my about page right now let's see how we can pass parameters to all these views there are two ways of passing parameters one is write para1 and first parameter now if you want to access this parameter you can just go to home and you can echo it out let's give a line break if I go to my home URL then I can see the parameter this is coming from the controller uh, there is another way of passing parameters which is an array of data so let's create an array whose name is data and let's add f name as eagle horn and a name as framework and then you can pass this data to the view now what this is going to do internally it's going to read home.php and it is going to it is going to replace the variables uh, which is there inside home.php with this data and you can directly access this variable by using $f name and $l name. So let's go ahead and replace this with $f name. Let's give a space and then $l name. Now, if you go ahead and refresh this, we see Eagle Horn framework. So those are the two ways through which you can uh, pass parameters to your views. Let's get started using a template. Uh, there is already a default template which I've deleted the contents. And let's go ahead and create the, the markup, the h1 markup. I want this to be the variable. Now the way to create template variables is by using curly braces and then you write the variable name inside. So this is going to be a template variable and this is going to be our content variable, right? Now let's go to home.php, uh, welcome dot our welcome controller, and let's try to replace this with a template. We are going to use one column, and you don't have to 
specify the extension because it's going to be .tpl all the time. Uh, now we need to pass this variables to our template which is title and content. We can do that by creating an array and then you specify the title which is going to be home and then we specify the content. Now in our content I want this content to come into my uh, into the page uh, this view basically uh, let's delete everything from here and we can just write home.php so <clears throat> it's it's gonna read this home.php get the output store it in this variable and while rendering it's gonna replace content with this variable right now let's go ahead and check this out so this is my home page and we get the title here uh, you can do the same thing in the about page and in this case we want this to be about this is my about And this is going to be about and we render it and if you check this just replace home with about and we can see both the pages here uh, the problem with the views is every time we have to load this markup again and again so using the template you can just delete all the markup for, from your views and you can have the common markup at one place and you just pass the content from your view right now let's see an example where we need to use a style sheet in <clears throat> one of the method let's say home method but we don't want the style sheet to be in our about method so if I add the style sheet here it's gonna be global and it's going to render in both the views so let's first create a let's first add a style sheet here I'll just write link and this is coming from config item I specify the site and I need the root of view URL and I want to use style.css right now let's see if yeah we have a style.css where I'm just changing the background color now if I try to refresh this oh, I need to echo this so a style sheet has been loaded and if I go to my home view or uh, the about view you can see that the style sheet gets loaded in both the views whereas my requirement is just to load it at one page let's say home in that case you can just copy this delete this line from here let's go to our welcome controller where you can inject a style sheet in one of your views so get the instance inject CSS and here you can write and we want to inject style.css all right now if I get into my about there is no style sheet but if I go to my home you can see the style sheet so this is basically useful in in a scenario where let's assume you have multiple pages multiple views which is using one of the template and in each view you have a predefined CSS let's say you're using bootstrap.css but in one of the view you want to add a custom CSS in that case you don't have to create a new template but you can just inject CSS into the head by just writing this one line right you can also inject a JavaScript by just writing JS which is going to inject any kind of JavaScript uh, this is helpful let's say I have five different pages home about contact us and our team and stuff like that and in one of the page in contact us page I am going to show Google Maps so I won't be writing this JavaScript 
to load Google Maps into my template uh, because doing that it will load the the Google Maps library in all the views but I just want it in my contact page so I'm going to inject that JavaScript using this uh, using this way and this is definitely going to be your script.js or whatever it is right so I'm just going to delete it and let's see how we can pass more parameters to the to the template uh, one thing you might have noticed here that when I when I load the home view and when I load the about view you see the title here it's coming in all lower cases but let's say we have a requirement where I want the first alphabet to be capitalized right right in that case I one thing I can do is I can just go ahead and make this home uh, but I have to do it in all the views all the methods basically so there is one easy way of doing that after you specify your title you can just write a function here you can add a function let's say you see first there's a PHP function so before rendering this template it's going to use this function and it's going to apply it on this variable so now if you go to about page it's going to capitalize that and if you go to home page it's going to capitalize that you can also add multiple functions by using trim or something like that let's say HTML special characters and stuff like that so that's all going to be added uh, into this variable right uh, you can also access variables uh, by specifying your variable name let's say uh, full name is equal to Eagle Hall framework demo and you can access this variable inside your template uh, where you can just write it this way. Now if I refresh this, it's gonna say Ilhan demo. If I go to about page, uh, it doesn't show here. That's because uh, I am passing this variable only in my home method but if I also write this in my about method, then I can access this variable Eagle Hunt demo, right? So those are the ways of using templates and views. Uh, you can also cache your templates, but I'm going to cover that in a different demo. Uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, uh, if you have not understood anything, just drop me a comment and I'll help you to clear that out. Right. Thank you.